Joseph, it's usually very hot that time of the year. It can be. Uh, yes, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see. This year seems to be proving to be a weird weather year. We've been so. holding on to kind of the gloom and the colder, the mm -hmm. colder weather this spring. So we'll see if that carries over through June into early July. Yeah. yeah. Excited yeah. though. I love the Blues Fest. It's one of the most exciting and best times to be out there at the waterfront and I uh, can't wait to check out some of those bands. Hey, today it's a little cloudy out there. We expected it. We knew this was coming in the forecast. It's here, but we're still going to see maybe a chance for some rain showers this afternoon, but the heavy and steady rain mainly occurred early this morning. So just a little tip there. Okay, so here's what's going on. We have those clouds there just really trying to fight down towards the surface. So it's going to be really tough to kind of chip through those to get some sunshine today. Now it is possible maybe we get a quick sun break a little bit later in the afternoon evening hours but for the most part i think we're going to stay pretty gloomy out there and gray you can see lincoln city there along the oregon coast it's also uh, just that deck of cloud coverage here's a couple spotty showers around the area but the heavy rain again has now passed to the east we do have a really slow moving front but it's just not going to do that much as we go through the afternoon except for seeing something like this the bigger story is the wind aloft is very strong, so that's going to help initiate maybe a couple showers and it's going to kind of keep things going as we head into this afternoon and again for tomorrow. Area of low pressure just to the north of us. You can see that wind right here coming in off the Pacific, so the onshore flow will keep us going. This batch of moisture to the east is because that's the front edge of the trough, which is that dip in the jet stream that moved on through as we went through the course of the overnight hours. This graphic right here, I think, tells the weather story coming up. Notice that we don't see that much rain heading into the weekend, pretty dry. And a good chunk of next week looks to be dry at this point of time. So really, we just got to get through today and our Thursday. And this part of the weather story is so much different than what we've been experiencing this spring. So we may see the driest part of our spring coming up in the next 10 days or so. All right, I mentioned that trough that pushed on in. You can see it kind of hanging out here. It starts to lean forward there as we go into our Thursday. We'll clip the back edge of it. So still a couple of showers, as I mentioned, on Thursday. But a large ridge starting to form up just to the west of us. That usually means drier conditions and also some warmer weather, and I do expect that as we head into the weekend. We haven't had many warm days. This is a chart of the last 31 days, so any line that's above is saying, hey, we actually hit above our average. Anything below, below our average, and notice that we had plenty of days below average, some of them 10 to 15 degrees below average. Well, it warms up for the week, and we'll get to the, about the mid-70s, so this is probably the warmest and driest stretch that we've had so far this year, which is saying something. We haven't had a lot of warm days, so mid-70s kind of feels like summer to us right now. Future cast as we go through the rest of today, a couple spotty showers, as I mentioned. We may get close to breaking through those clouds again in the late afternoon and evening hours, so I think we're going to hold on to them for most of the day, but if you're looking for maybe a sun break, it's going to be in the next probably four hours or five hours, closer to the commute home or dinner time. Here's Thursday morning. We have a couple passing showers. Snow levels drop too, down to the passes. We may get about one to three inches up there, but it's not going to be really enough to get the uh, passes all snowy. I think it's just going to be a little too warm based off the time of the day. So I wouldn't uh, have, to, I wouldn't say you'd have to worry about a lot of snowfall there, but you may want to be prepared if you're traveling. Uh, we got Thursday morning here, a couple passing showers, as I mentioned, that continues into the afternoon evening hours. And then by Friday, we start drying up before we start bringing in some of that warm air. It sure looks good. 74 degrees on Saturday, mid 70s on Sunday. We'll keep it going likely on Monday as well. So that is going to be just a superb weekend to be outdoors. Again, it sure looks like we start drying up heading into next week. We haven't seen this spring, so this might feel good. I love. Yeah, we've had like one nice day yeah, followed by here. two weeks of rain yeah. and cold. Yes, so this weekend will be different. It's our weekend. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back.